I first came across this kind of maths when I was trying to cut a square hole in a piece of paper and I wanted a hole without the square in it. And you might think that the easiest way to do that is to kind of stab a hole in the paper, cut to the edge and then cut round the hole. But of course I realised that it would be slightly easier if I folded the piece of paper first. So if I make a fold like this and line up the edges of the square, I now only need to do three cuts, cut down here, across here, and back up again. So that's one, two, three straight cuts, and that will give us a nice square hole. But three is loads of cuts. I'm sure I can do better than that. So maybe if I fold it, first of all, in half, and again, line up the edges, and then make a second fold this way. Now I've managed to reduce it to two cuts, one, two. So it's a cut there, and a second cut there. And that gives me a square hole. But two is still far too many. I can definitely do this more efficiently. So if I take my square, fold it in half, fold it in half this way. Now I just need to do one more fold to make these two lines lie on top of each other. And in fact, if I fold it diagonally like this, those two lines are now in the same place. And if I make one straight cut, I can cut out my square hole in just one cut. Now the fold and cut theorem tells you that you can actually do that for any shape whatsoever, as long as the edges of the shape are all straight lines. And what's interesting is that even if the shape is really complicated, if it has more than one bit to it, or if it's got a hole in the middle, you can still make all of the cuts using one scissor cut. Uh, and that's kind of cool, and I think it's a, a nice piece of maths. So you could try and do a triangle shape. And it's actually quite a nice little puzzle to try and work out how you would fold a piece of paper. So Maybe you'd fold down the middle first, because this triangle has a line of symmetry there. Uh, you could try and fold a diamond shape, which is a bit like a triangle, but more complicated. You could fold, say, a hexagon, which is going to involve a few more folds. And in fact, because you can do any shape, you can just make up your own shapes. So this is, I guess, like a ribbon shape, uh, and it's got a nice line of symmetry here, maybe another one here. Maybe that's a clue how you would start trying to cut this one out but you can just make up any shape at all that you like, as long as all of the edges are straight lines.